Okay, time for my first match of World Cup 2022. Where because all of the top USA players decided not to play this year, I'm somehow on the USA A team against Kaspitatul from Poland. Mm. We have a, a inventor horn board. Uh, you got to do both of those things. Native village looks better than bandit camp. Uh, scrap is pretty sad with the shelters, but. Um, Apprentice is also a little sad with them, so what are you going to do? Uh, there's also Dominate, but I don't think Dominate is competitive against um, the Megaturn kind of thing. It would be nice to uh, hit five for Apprentice, but it's also not so crucial. Um, I want a lot of native villages. Those seem pretty important. I think I'm just going to get an inventor. Okay, inventor gardens is bad, but if it's if your opponent was going for that, then I think this should be gaining a card. Uh, probably a horse. I would be pretty slow to take a second inventor in case the opponent was trying some kind of inventor gardens rush, which should be really weak. But the counter to it is not to start helping them lower the inventors, I think. Um. Uh. I mean, the native village is like also a pretty good card for that rush. Like the fact that I want a bunch of them. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Native Village and Winter Gardens could be some sort of hybrid rush megaturn thing. It seems pretty bad on such a strong board, but the strong board needs a little time to get to where it's going because the draw is 
the draw and the trashing are kind of weak. Okay, they get a scrap, which is um, helpful. Uh, don't I still don't think I want a second inventor right now, though. I may get a second scrap just because I'm not really building to hit Apprentice. Bandit Camp is some economy. There's also Wedding. Uh... I guess I will get a second scrap. That's kind of sad. Like, what else are you going to do? I think they get, uh, they go for a bandit camp. I set aside uh, my scrap there. Uh, this is nice. Probably just gonna pick up the scrap. I uh, wish we could have set aside the copper. Okay. They have already got two inventors. Trash this. Maybe just card? What am I going to draw? Or uh, it's just going to be a copper, right? I think those last two are coppers. Is it better to save the extra card for a later turn by getting a horse? Yeah, I think, I think it probably is. Somehow we'd have to afford to buy Horn and Wild Hunt. I mean, I kind of don't want you to get all the adventures, but it kind of doesn't matter that much. It's harder to do the gain and play stuff. Like, I guess I'm just going to slam these, and let's see. Like, I should be able to get... Oh, probably it's a wild hunt here, followed by a horn. I'll trigger the shuffle if I trash that. Uh, but it should help me hit my price point, so probably do it. Uh, okay, so it got me another native village there. I mean, I'd also like to get, I think, uh, is there some scenario where if I don't pick coin, I just, no, I can, I can kill a native village if I, yeah, I think I should pick card. Okay. Set aside. Sets inventor aside. Okay. Um, I just, I need to hit five here, so should I go ahead and pick up this inventor? Probably a good idea. Um, I'm not going to be able to play the scrap, but... Okay. 
Let's just get a wild hunt. Hey, that was nice. <laughs> just float to the top. Okay, now, uh... This would probably end on inventors and something that's some green pile that isn't provinces, if I had to guess. Unless one player started getting provinces, but they don't seem to be uh, moving in that direction. But maybe with Wild Hunt. What did I set aside? Made a village? Um. Okay. Honestly, I kind of have a mind to get a second wild hunt uh, instead of a horn. Yeah. If I can. Gain and play an inventor, then the inventor can gain a horn of plenty. Gaining and playing an inventor and a horn of plenty this turn seems like it's not going to happen, but. Uh, that's a side of scrap. Okay, well, here's Wild Hunt, number one. So that's Native Village aside. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to go. Um, I think we're just going to trash. I'll go ahead and pick up another inventor now. Okay. I have a good number of native villages. I feel good about that. I'd like to probably ideally not pick up with this one. I'm not really following that much what my opponent's doing. I think they're doing something similar. I mean, I think, yeah, they have this bandit camp, which I'm pretty happy that I avoided gaining. Because, honestly, yeah, I don't know about my build. But then... Native villages are better in the deck than the bandit camp, I think. Okay. They have five inventors, I think. That's a lot. Um, yeah, they got two wild hunts. Okay. I think I can set aside here. Uh, I could try not picking that up and have a big turn next turn. What's the last card? It's my other inventor. No, it's it might be another native village or a copper. Well, I really want to get a horn. I mean, we could trash two of the coppers. There was a native village. Hmm. I 
guess if I want to get a horn. Can I afford to get Inventor Wild Hunt horn? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The opponent has four native villages. Last turn they played two of them. They gained two wild hunts. They played their one wild hunt. So now they have three. So they should not be um, coming back around. They shouldn't be playing a wild hunt next turn. Uh, so I think that's safe for me to lower here. I'd like a chance to set aside Wild Hunt. Okay, set aside Inventor by Top Deck Wild Hunt. Um, so I think I'm just not going to play this. So I can go ahead and get a horn. Uh, is that better than just a wild hunt? I'm just not going to be able to play that many inventors. I mean, because there aren't very many left. I've got three. I guess I could get a fourth inventor. Hmm. Could get an apprentice and kill a wild hunt or something for some draw. I don't know. I'm going to get the horn. So yeah, I don't think that they can play a wild hunt this turn. They should have just like a bunch of inventors. But I don't know, if they have three cards on the mat, uh, they're likely to have a native village in hand. Okay, but they didn't. They didn't have one. They just lower inventors. Hmm. Get another bandit camp. So, I should have enough gains to pile, I think. Um, of course, I need to find my draw. I have three wild hunts. Let's look here. Should we scrap this? We should scrap this scrap before we play any adventures. Um, I don't think we're going to be action limited. Right? I don't know. We have six. E. Three wild hunts. We might want to play a fourth one. Yeah, we might want the action. I'll do card action. Buy. One. Okay, set aside. That's my last native village, I think. So I have to just pick that up. So this is how many games. I have two buys, five, six. I think this is just in hand. So that, whatever, set aside, copper, gain, wild hunt.
behind. Uh, can buy wild hunt and some. I mean, I can draw this here. Oh, there was another village. Uh, whatever. Points. Okay. Game. Wild hunt. Buy wild hunt. Buy and stick. Okay. Okay, I was first player. Oh, we got Inventor again. They have Procession banned, but not Possession. Interesting. What kind of a Druid? Earth, Sun, Sky. So the draw is only Embassy. But there's good thinning with Bounty Hunter Forager. So you can try to do play a lot of inventors. Or uh, you can do this like golden deck. Um, I guess if you do that, how susceptible is that to tax man? By using cargo ship as part of your deck, you might be able to get around a tax man attack. Um. Yeah, I am not in general a huge fan of opening Forager, but Forager Bounty Hunter looks pretty great. Um, the golden deck looks pretty fast. They go for an inventor. I'm gonna go Bounty Hunter. Uh, this looks like a great hand if I wanna buy a four. Oh no, it gets me to five. Oh, they forged a copper, that was nice. Um, I mean, I don't, now I don't know what I want. Uh, uh, Blessed Village cannot give me the earth gift. It could be a second copy of one of these cards that I have. Is the druid any good? Could help me get my golds if I wanted to do do the thing. Taxman is also a way to do that. I'm likely to get to four again. I don't think I want to get an embassy. Um, I'm going to get a tax man. <laughs> okay, I got five. Uh, it's just going to be a village, I think. And then I'm going to get a pair of cargo ships. I'm going to get a second forager, I think. Um, that was nice. He got the swamp. I guess I, that could have been mine. Um, 
I don't think Mountain would be so terrible. Um, wind would be fine if that happened. That would actually be good for me. Uh, moon would be fine. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. The Wisp was probably the best one to get. Um, yeah, I mean, the thinning is the thinning is good. The embassy is just like, you would so much rather have like a moat than an embassy <laughs> if you're trying to do, play a lot of inventors. Uh, cool. So we could get, uh, let's grab one of these and one of these. So here we'll get a silver and something. Second cargo ship, I guess. Laugh at my tax, tax man all you want and his silly bald head. The second inventor. Okay. I mean, I could transition to something like that too if I want to. I'll see how it's going for the enemy. I'm thinking that the attack is kind of annoying from Taxman on this board. That's my thought. And I have to get like a gold or two somehow, so. Tax man will, will get me that also. It also means that foragers will start to be stronger. What to buy? Uh, Vassal. Well, there's a little synergy with Vassal and Harbinger. So if I was buying a Vassal, I probably would have put it with a Harbinger. It also has some synergy with Embassy, but yeah. I wish I could uh, play this and get um, a thing. Honestly, I don't think I'm really ready for a second cargo ship and I don't really want a silver or a third forager so I don't want a vassal either uh, I'm just gonna get a harbinger which is like uh, I can exile it for money later I'm going to want another village, although yeah, like if you trash all the way down and your deck is just villages and inventors. Like, are you going to maybe win that way? Probably that deck s struggles to be a deck that has a couple provinces. So I'm thinking, no, you have to play with embassy draw. Which means you have to have cards that you can discard. Uh, 
which means that if you're really thin and you have embassy draw, it's just the discarding is hurting you a lot. Uh, okay, they're silvering me. Uh, I guess if I top decked that, I could buy a gold. I don't think that's what I want, though. Well, I didn't want that now that I already have two silvers. We'll get there. Do they have any silvers yet? I have like a million silvers. I think I have all the silvers. I should have gotten a third forager probably. I could still get one. Or a second bounty hunter maybe. I need to, maybe I need an embassy to just help me get through my deck as I'm putting it together. It's probably the case. Um, what is this forager supposed to trash? They don't have any silvers, so if I want to attack, it's copper. I must trash with taxman. So that means I'm doing something. Trashing a silver with Forager, I think. Um, on the other hand, top decking a gold would be better than top decking a silver. I think the attacking feels more important. Hopefully they, damn, well that was a bust. I will trash the silver here. And I think I will pick up the tax man and play it again. I don't know. I think I'm getting uh, that. I don't know. I'm buying a, another trasher here. I don't have enough. Or maybe I'm buying an embassy so that I can play them more. I don't know. The embassy silvers are really hurting me. I should be playing with Embassy. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, they're playing a little slow. But, I mean... It can be hard to figure out what you're doing here. They have villages and draw. But it's like, as of right now, they can get to up to a seven card hand. That's what their draw is. Okay, eight card hand. They've junked me so much. Four silvers, oh my god. It almost makes me want to just start buying provinces early. Get a second bounty hunter. Uh, well, what am I going to exile? If 
I do it like that. Maybe I should just exile a silver. Yeah, my, my deck is getting to be quite good at hitting eight, is the thing. Uh, huh. Could top deck a village exile a silver and then put a embassy in my hand? I'll just do that. I think I'm just going to start buying provinces. Honestly, if they sort of manage to get some good engine going I would be proud of them and and think they deserve to win but I'm really thinking about all those times that I've tried hard to make something like that work and my opponent beat me by doing something a lot simpler this feels like one of those boards bounty hunter particularly makes it to where you can just buy provinces and your deck doesn't get at that much worse even if you're not a golden deck uh, honestly that's a mechanic I don't really love about menagerie I like early game exiling I don't and, and like sort of tricks involving exile and discarding the cards and stuff but just the fact that exiling means you can start greening sooner is not something that I love Where's the... It's cold in here. There must be some inventors in the atmosphere. Wow. Oh yeah, they have a wisp. I mean, that wisp is like the best draw card. The wisp is so... The wisp increases the uh, viability of something involving inventors by kind of a lot because after you've played a couple it's going to be like a lab so like once you're clean your goal would probably be to play the embassies before the wisp um Op you so I mean okay it's time to exile this tax man right I talked a lot about getting a second bounty hunter and I did not do that but I still could Taxman needs to go bye bye. Uh, 
uh, considering the direction that they went, it was not good. I guess after the previous game, I shouldn't be surprised that they were hitting the inventor pile pretty hard. Um... I mean, one of my thoughts on this board was to do pretty much exactly what they're doing. So I'm, I'm curious to see how good it is. I think the fact that they have the Wisp, wow, that's really good time to get Forest. Um, I think that they're doing about as, they're doing very well for this build. So they're in a pretty good position. I wish they would play faster, honestly. We had a conversation about, they said they didn't want to play more than two hours, and I was like, well, I can probably accommodate that. And they were like, oh, but I'm slow. <laughs> so I might want to play in two sessions, is what they said, and I really don't want to play in two sessions, but. I have two other league matches. I have my last two league matches this weekend. And I'm really busy next week. Okay. So they're kind of at the limits of their... Well, I mean, I let them get, like, all the villages. They've got seven of those. They have two more inventors. They can get one more inventor. I would probably get a harbinger so that you, that vassal doesn't have to be terminal or the, I mean, they probably will exile the vassal at some point. Or trash it. Uh, I would probably not get another embassy in their position. To get another forager, which is kind of reasonable, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about it. Oh, they had a forager exiled, so they did that. Now they're provincing. Yeah, I like the harbinger. Uh, do I want to draw up a gold? No, I want to kill the tax man. Um, probably forage a forager. Top deck this village. get a province oh I I didn't Ugh, I regret I have regrets right no wait where's my did I oh I never got another cargo ship well I think I should get one hmm. they will probably win The embassies can sift through the green and they can exile the green too. Their deck is just probably a bit better than mine. It has all these extra gains so they can 
I mean, I don't know. I think their deck would be better if it had only two or three inventors instead of four, but they can just exile one, so if they agreed with that statement. I don't know, maybe they want the inventors to gain food for the foragers so that they have uh, buys so that they can use the cost reduction in the buy phase. Uh, of course, if they... What are they getting? Yeah, I don't know. They might get a gold for that reason. Like on our third on their third inventor play this turn, they could get a gold. They have more foragers than I do. They're definitely, I mean, by a lot now. I would consider gaining a gold, I think, for them. Yeah, they can like province embassy here. I'm thinking they can do they can do a lot. They can just do whatever. Just don't take too long doing it. I don't want to resign because they could screw something up. Or it's pretty hard for them to have um like bad duds or anything. This is giving me flashbacks to a couple of league matches this season. I know I'm not the fastest player. I mean, this long think on the discard is, I guess, okay if you're then not going to think too hard about what your other gains are because you've already been figuring out everything else you're going to do with this turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all your villages. Yeah. That's all your embassies. There's your two harbingers, your wisp, your vassal. So you're not drawing anymore. So you're just looking at the cards you can play this turn. <sighs> okay, yeah, harbingers, sure. Uh, I don't, I don't like just slamming Harbinger there, I would have taken a gold. Double province, okay. They can probably just uh, repeat that. Uh. I would have thought about wait, waiting to play that wisp.
I mean, there's no scenario where I win here. I don't think. One of my last two cards is my embassy, so this turn is up. I'm like on the. If I see that, if I draw it, then. They're gonna double here. I can't beat that, so I'll just that's fine. I don't want to spend longer playing this. Um they deserve to win that game. There's no doubt about that. Okay, cathedral. Mm, only attack is uh, Marauder. Uh, other ways of trashing Native Village. So this looks like a easy cathedral buy on turn one. <laughs> then think later. Um, hmm. Lots of draw from Courtyard and Wayfarer. Um, you can Prince Wayfarer, which is pretty attractive on this cathedral board. Um, that's probably a goal. Um, Band of Misfits can be either a village or a Wayfarer if you... You know, Marauder might be okay because it triggers Wayfarer costing zero. You're going to want a lot of native villages and Wayfarers, I think. Um, but Wayfarer costing zero makes Band of Misfits good. Uh, that's what I was just trying to say, right? And then if Band of Misfits can be native village courtyard, you know, like all those things. Yeah, Band of Misfits is really strong here I think I do think Marauder is worth getting as much as I think it's a terrible card so uh, the like you probably will end up uh, do we want to trigger here I mean I kind of want to buy a I could get a courtyard I think it's fine. Okay, I got to five. I guess I'm gonna get a band. Oh, I drew it right away. Um, I mean, I guess I'm playing it as Marauder and buying a Wayfarer. That sounds pretty great. I could play it as storeroom and then I would buy a native village and a wayfarer. Oh, no, no, no. That doesn't work because I have to trash a card here. So I'm just going to play it like this. Buy that. Hmm. So I'm thinking about university. I think considering how good Band of Misfits are, it's probably worth it. Um, thinking about Animal Fair, you know, it gives you something to do with the ruins, right? Uh, I think this band just wants to be a courtyard. I'll just buy a uni. Okay, so they got a potion as well. Um, I don't think there's much of a reason to play this. I'll probably.
Can we just buy a band? I do want a Prince. That's not what I wanted to see. Second turn in a row, I'm gonna not play this card. Um, I have two bands and a Necropolis down there, so it's a bit unlucky that I didn't draw any of those. Oh, and a university. Okay, there's four villages or potential villages in the six cards down there. Um, All right, cause but the Yeah, there's no reason to play this Wayfarer. My next turn is looking good. Uh, that Ruined Market is not a terrible card. I will get another university. I don't know how many of those I want. Mm, I wonder if I could hit eight this turn. This is going to be University Game Band, Band of Misfits, Marauder, then Band of Misfits as a Wayfarer. Let's see what happens after that. Mm. Do I want a silver? Um... Probably yes. Or no, maybe. So that I can buy another Wayfarer for zero. Yeah, I can just get a... Hmm, I can save the spoils. Help me get to a Prince. Got what, like ruined... That's not a very good hand down there. Or there's a university in it, and Wayfarer, so it's not too bad, maybe. Uh, potion, I might trash the potion. Um, maybe do that by that without playing the spoils. Okay, I did get the university in the Wayfarer. Um, I'm considering trashing the potion here. Oh, they have an animal fair. Okay. I just don't think I want a million unis. Three would be the max, I think, that I would want. Hmm. 
they got their prints. Uh, I think trashing the potion helps me get to prints myself. Um, don't gain. <laughs> What's the best way for me to try to hit eight here? Because I haven't. I have another spoils down there. Um, I think the answer is to play this as. Uh, store room or just courtyard I agree that Prince looks pretty good. I think this is going pretty well. We'll see how they do with playing the Prince. Yeah, I also think you're only trashing one card per turn. Should probably be doing more native village stuff, uh, looking for opportunities to, to thin a little bit with that. That's something that looks pretty important on this board to put your green away. Oh yeah, courtyard, native village. That's really good. Yeah, we want all these banned misfits. If you prince uh, two Band of Misfits, you could like play Marauder, Wayfarer, whatever. I mean, I can just prince a Wayfarer. Uh, no, you can't prince Band. Blah, blah, blah. But um, you don't really want to prince Marauder. That's not the card you really want to prince. <laughs> Wayfarer is the card you want to prince. Or, or Courtyard if you have one. Printing your necropolis is fine. It's not as exciting. Printing a draw with cathedral is uh, makes you feel a little more comfy. Prince is ruined library, so that's for sure suboptimal. Uh, I may want to just go with courtyard here. I don't know. I'll, I'll try this thing. I think the... Yeah, this uh, next turn should be... Should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just get a native village. Uh, oops. Go a Wayfair native village. Okay, so we should be able to print the um, doohickey. Uh, okay, that's not a very good turn. Yeah, I think these. Uh, I think the Marauder hurts annoyingly. 
got to do more. We got to do more. Um, whatever our stuff. Do I want to gain a cheap card here so that I don't have to play Marauder before the Prince? I'm thinking yes is the answer to that question. Maybe it didn't really matter, but... Um, Set some things aside. Uh, well, oh, I played the Wayfarer, so I'm just an idiot. That was, ugh. Okay, there's more way here. Uh, don't gain a silver. Don't play a university. <laughs> don't gain a silver, okay. Side of Band of Misfits and play this Marauder in a ruined market. Un Get some Wayfarers? Need to continue to slam native villages and stuff. I think it's okay. I need to run for one second.
Okay. Uh, we're probably pretty soon gonna want to gain some silvers. Uh, Treasure Wayfarer, I guess. Oh, so what's going on? Oh, the piles are just empty. So we can just win. Let's update the score. It's two to one. Puka. Um. Hmm. Uh, hopefully they don't have some god doctor hand. It's good doctor hand. Um, I'm going to try page doctor. What do I probably have? That hand is just five with the curse. Uh, yeah, not nearly as good as theirs, but you could get the like seven dollar doctor. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, we got to trigger with this page. Uh, if we found a doctor right on top that would be nice probably get a second page warrior draw looks pretty good puka draw is good right because you've got uh count gains copper treasure hunter gains silver squire gains silver so there's like ways to feed the puka um lots of payload with Hagler. champions great Um, just a second page, I think. I think just buy nothing here. Oh, monastery is good. I don't really want to. S yeah, their head on the crashing, but we'll see how they build. Do I want to take a curse to get a monastery? I don't think so. Get a monastery here. They're so thin. You need to buy a squire right now. thinking to just get a page hmm. a 
Hopefully they don't get our warrior here. He tries to curse gold. Uh, that could be worse. Two estates down there. Hopefully we don't draw an estate here. I guess if I draw the warrior then I play it. That was a pretty dangerous um, moment. I mean I just got that monastery with the <laughs> thought of having a curse gold still in my deck. Uh, C'est la vie. I think I just need to count myself lucky that I didn't lose my warrior. Uh, that's that's like the worst thing. Uh, so there's what there's one estate, the copper down there, trashed copper. Trash two coppers, only had so so yeah, the state. Um, yeah, the state was the bottom card. Probably a stupid squire. Some silver. I could have got a den on my opening. Okay, no. That's a good card for them to buy. Um, probably just a page at this price point. Yeah, I'm fine with getting a bunch of pages and um, at some point we'll be able to afford a Puka. They'll probably get the Puka here. Or they could just get Dens, but I don't think Dens are as good. Uh, I should know what that card is. it's a good card but there's more copper down there where we want to trigger this right okay I got I trashed copper all right well, we get our champion. Um, it would be nice if they don't gain very many cards. Uh, yeah. We can afford a Puka now. Okay, they take a Hagler, which is a good card. I'm going to put Warrior on key. Well, honestly, I kind of just want to keep my auto plays off. Mm -hmm. I should probably be thinking about a den instead of a puka here.
So hopefully the den finds the champion. Uh, be pretty annoying if they discard my champion. Probably can't really play this treasure hunter right now. Okay, well they can they do they have a warrior? Yeah. Okay, the trash is silver. And my doctor. That's really not the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> uh But they're gaining three cards this turn, right? One silver. No. Okay, they gained three silver. Okay, yeah. <laughs> There's no way I can play this. Uh, hopefully I find the champion. 40% chance. I have a... Do I have another page? So maybe it's 50%. I think there's a page in there. Oh, they bought a province. Why did they buy that? Oh, I, I forgot I have a village. Okay, champion's the last card. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, uh, I can, I can, um, so this is gonna gain five cards. And then I can trash one, two. I don't really super want to trash the gold, but maybe I should just trash it. Yeah, that's worth it to get a warrior here, I think. Well, no, I, okay, I'll do this for, I'll do it like this. I mean, I kind of want road network. <laughs> Keep. Wait, where's my champion? Did they discard it? They did discard it. I just didn't see them do it. Okay, they discarded it again. Well, fuck. I definitely thought I somehow missed that. They played... Yeah, this is annoying as all hell. My main chance to come back involves the fact that they're getting provinces already, which honestly might. I mean, I gotta get road network. Oh! And they trashed a warrior. Fuck. I would really like to draw that Puka. I have another warrior. I'm still not. Yeah. Urg. Are they going to get another province? I mean, they're sneaking the provinces in before I get Road Network, which is what I should have bought last turn if I had realized I didn't have the champion actually in my next hand. Guaranteed. This was always going to be an uphill battle from the beginning with how thin they got. I can definitely believe that I should have made some different buys to try to set myself up for a big doctor. I may have even just missed good chances to buy a second doctor for 
or trash. Uh, they add a gold and a province. I really hate that. I do like that they got another haggler. It's either den or road network. I guess it's, I mean, I get, I, maybe it's just a den. So gross. Okay. If they get a province here, I could finally get to put my champion in play. Oh, they trashed my other warrior. Uh, I should probably... I don't want to resign right now because like, there's still so much you could build. But they're just going to keep provincing and whatever. It's like, even if... I, I I mean, yeah. Building more was for sure better for them than just greening. But they were so far ahead that it didn't matter. And discarding my champion twice was just... really good for them. So they have all the warriors. My only draw is Puka now, and and this den. Uh, my champion is down there. I might draw it right now. I think another Hagler, which is good. They should get another Puka. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna see my champion next turn. Um. How many cards do I have to gain if I play this? They did not play Treasure Hunter. Their Squire was for buys. They, so it's four. need to buy a puka I can't get a warrior anyway I shouldn't have exchanged I can trade it for copper which is better because of puka Oh, no, I only want one copper. Well, there's my deck. Now I can get a Haggler and start building. <laughs> They can, I mean, they, they should probably, with their strategy, just have gotten, like, four dens. I'll just resign. This is... Yeah, that was infuriating. Ugh. But whatever.
Uh, interesting. Surely you're getting a hermit on the three. No. This is kind of what I was hoping for. I guess I could, I, I just really need this hermit. This could already be an envoy. It should probably just be a hermit though. I do want sauna. It's going to help get clean. Um, I don't have my silver yet. That's something I need. To, I need. I want to keep her, having hermit in my deck. I want to keep. I think this should be a hermit. I guess it could be a count. That's another way to trash. With the madman, you could just trash it all. I'll try that. Count's not that useful of a card later. I'll try it. Um, this would be ideal to draw the hermit here. Otherwise, maybe just get my silver. See, I could draw a copper, a hermit, my count, which would be fine. So how do we do this? I guess we could bootstrap up with some fool's gold.
Could also not trash right now. How good is it if I just kill everything? On the other hand, I could get like a madman to. <laughs> Could get three full skulls and another madman. That sounds pretty good, right? Or Hermit and two full skulls. Sounds better. Oh, I don't, I, that doesn't give me a madman, right? I am so smart. Uh, I guess I need to buy an envoy here. Yeah, that was not very smart. Some number of madmen here. Probably just get two hermits, two madmen. Okay. I still want to trash my coppers. This count is just really awkward. I should have gone for a sauna strategy for the coppers. Uh, so I guess, but we're fine. I'm going to trash this turn and I can still play some monkeys before that. Hermits and monkeys. Oh, we're not going to play this madman, right? <laughs> they should have discarded. Copper, probably. I 
think I'm just going to discard these because I kind of want to just keep both of them. That's fine. I'll just buy some cards. Being the hermit off a of jester. I just get a pl for sure. I'm buying a plaza here. Madman, I have a madman, right? Yeah. Um, so it definitely doesn't need to be um, any draw for next turn. Don't need sauna anymore. Unless we want to do sauna bonto stuff. Uh, payload, we probably want to be, I mean, we could just be going for, I don't know. I'm going to try Plaza Jester here. Don't even need to play this madman. Yes, I mean, I need it for the actions, anyway. Um, so it's drawing everything. Uh, do we want to gain and play something? Probably. Let's draw one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's and then discard. And then put two more cards in there. Five. Uh I think I can still draw all that. Yeah, so we're still over terminaled and we pretty much just wanna and the jester is interesting.
Yeah, maybe we should start greening. I don't know. Greening and lowering a little. I'll just get a province here and maybe another fool's gold. No, I'm not going to have. I mean, uh. I kind of want to top deck this envoy, so I'm just going to province. Do I want a duchy? I don't think so. I'm glad I didn't bottom deck all my plazas. They will probably gain another plaza off me here. Ooh. They have a bunch of obelisk points. Um, I only have two envoys, right? So we're not discarding here. So it's a fool's gold and a plaza down there. Um, Pretty sure I can't use all this money. I guess I could, but how much money is it? 16, 17, 18. Mm. Just play a jester and double. Can I do that and get a coffer? I'd have to spend the coffer, I think, so. Junk you. Yeah, I sure do have a bunch of herbalists. my deck with way too many terminals. Yeah, that hurts kind of. I think it's okay. Uh, so we should probably look at ending it right now. Well, no, we're not going to do that. can safely get province plaza though um, I don't know wait you got a gold did you do that off of a fool's gold react Looks like that was the right choice. Uh, if I draw a fool's gold here, do I have enough to just pile? Uh, if I draw a gold, no. I don't think I'm having a turn here, right? 
Oh, they just bought the Envoy. That's weird. Oh, I did have an Envoy there. Is it just already in hand, though? I don't think so. Now it should be... Just monkey. How much is it? One, that's five, six, seven. That would only be seven. So I don't have it. means I should just buy a province. Right? I have it if I flip over an envoy. They just never got clean or anything. Um, is this enough? No, it's not. Uh, this enough? No, it's not. Um, right, it's a coin short. Probably just score some points in case for some reason they have the opportunity to, I could get some mad men. There's no way they can win. Pretty sure. That's good for me. Uh, does a gold win for me? No. Um, is this enough one? No, it's not. So yeah, again, I would like have to flip over the envoy. I uh, yeah, that gets. Oh, I just have province. No, I don't have province. <laughs> uh, I guess this has to be a duchy. <laughs> Yikes! If they can get province duchy, I'm gonna scream. Oh God. I just gave you two envoys, right? So, I think I'm discarding this gold. Oh. Oh no. If you take the envoy in province, you get a tie. if you have $8. I mean, obviously you want it more than you want me to have it. Oh, okay, so they were one coin short of a tie. Um, 
this is all I need to do is buy that envoy. close to being really sad. Have I done the correct... Sorry, I just... I'm confused about the starts. Uh... No, yeah, it's just been, whatever, okay. Okay, so three, two. I need uh, to win this to get the match. What do we have here? Exorcist. Council room with no attacks. That uh, we have the council room dirty secret situation. The dirty secret of council room being that it just makes your opponent really consistent, even if they don't put a lot of effort into it, especially on a board where there's dungeon. So spirits are really pretty important, I think. Um, Humble Castle is conceivably the only three type. No, Ghost. Okay, so it's fine. Oh, there's also uh, opulent castle and small castle, right? Those are also three type. Oh, they had this five two. Okay, oh, that's that's a pretty good open. Um, can't lie. This is probably just a village for me. Would have liked to see the dungeon right off the top, I think. Uh, we do need a monastery. Probably wait on that. Well, I guess I'll gain it right now. This is a great draw. Uh, okay, now I shuffle. Um, I kind of didn't really want to shuffle, but we'll see. I'll gain the monastery now. Um... I guess that maybe should have been a different gain. then I can buy this monastery here. But now I've got to see the monastery sooner. If you get a second monastery, uh, that'll get me clean pretty quick. Ooh, bandit camp. Um, I'll get a second monastery. It's just going to be a wisp. Could get the humble and just already have that courtier target. I don't have a courtier yet, of course. Um, I'm just gonna. Buy that. <laughs> 
I'm sure it's bad. Uh, what's down there? It probably doesn't matter because they're going to play a council room. Yeah, I would have been a lot better off if I just, uh, if I, I, I made the wrong gain off of the Earth Gift. I wasn't thinking very clearly. We might get another Exorcist. I think I would like to be very spirit heavy. On the other hand, just a ton of bandit camps and council rooms is not uh, so terrible. This is a dungeon. We'll get there. One day we'll hit five. I haven't really done anything to make that possible. Should have bought a Duchess on that too. Probably. We've got some Wisps. Our deck has those. They have all they they have they have those cards. <laughs> those are cards. I have a humble castle though. So look out. If I lose because I bought a stupid humble castle, I'm really sorry to my teammates. I don't know. I can blame that warrior game on my deteriorating mental state. Whatever shall you buy? Just get like dungeon council room or dungeon, I don't know dungeon courtier a second dungeon plus something. Oh, <laughs> all right. I don't know what my last two cards are. We're gonna find out. It would be optimal for me to have two exorcists, kind of. So if I'm only getting to four here, that's what I'm going to get another one of, I think. Even though I'm still just, like, not having economy. The idea would be that I suddenly get a lot of economy. Okay. Uh, I could buy just a five here. Or I could go for something better than that. Um... Weirdly want the five to be a courtier. That doesn't seem smart. <laughs> Hopefully this dungeon makes some magic. Don't I have three wisps? Where are they? They do not have any wisps. Seriously, look out for my humble castle. Like, there's a pretty strong argument for that that should just have been a silver. Or something. Forest gift, pretty decent. Yeah, they can use that now and get a council room. That looks, that looks pretty great. Uh, 
Oh, they weren't able to trash the stuff. Okay, discarding a couple of coppers here. Nice. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, that's three cards, so there'll be two on top if I play this dungeon. Uh, first, if I play the village. three cards there so draw two of them there'll be one on top oh yeah I have a council room um, am I gonna trash this village no to buy a courtier uh, so this isn't like amazing but Courtier is a ghost gainer. Well, I have my courtier hum humble castle now. La 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 la. Um, they can't attack me. I am guessing that they are going to get another bandit camp. Perhaps another bandit camp and another courtier. Could be greedy. Probably not that greedy. I would like another exorcist and a courtier. Get an, yeah, I could just get a courtier and ghost it. I mean, sorry, get a courtier and a ghost. No. Hmm, I don't know. Can't gain and play a ghost. Uh, I need to draw first. Two wisps, village, council room, dungeon. I should draw. I've gotten guaranteed to draw. Probably guaranteed to be able to draw the gold.
be pretty nice if I draw in the order so that I can play buy coins gold. That would do it. Um, it's another wisp and is this wisp guaranteed to draw? I think so. Oh, it wasn't because of the dungeon, but I was not punished for that. Uh, this wisp is guaranteed to draw, but I shouldn't play it yet. I don't think this matters, but. Okay, I got the gold. Uh, do I want to play the council room? Uh, I think I'm just going to top deck a copper. Because it's not like I'm going to use that buy. Uh, I could get... I could do the attack, but I'd rather be ramping up my econ. They'll probably attack me. Mm -hmm. Am I being silly? I think that we already know the answer to that. Uh, hmm. Maybe I will wait on a ghost. Interesting. I wonder if that field's gift just saved them from a dud. <clears throat> they never got a second dungeon, which is something that they should have. Oh, that small castle is a nice little three type. It doesn't matter what I top deck here. I'm glad that Haunted is not a ghost ship level. That would really hurt. Um, happily got a village. I guess they bottom deck the dungeon. Or else they played it in a weird order. See what they do.
I just like gaining ghosts more than I like winning sometimes. Okay, they want to do this attack. Okay, now they got the opulent also for the courtier. Um, I don't know that I like that attack enough. For them, okay, that was good. Uh, oh, there's a spoils and I just have a lot of overdraw. Uh, let's get a ghost. Um, how to harvest? Mm, no. Um, two courtiers would be the greedy move. really kind of sad I killed that monastery because I still want to get rid of these coppers. So I guess I could like admit that that was bad or else let's see what boon I'm going to get. Uh, sure. I like that. Um, I know I want one of these. I guess getting just maybe a bandit camp kind of splits the difference. We get a blessed village. I think there's like a mountain gift in there, which I wouldn't really want. Yeah, I get this. Okay, nice draw. I think I'm in good shape. Yeah, I don't like the greening from them last turn. Although, I mean, they got the castles that added a bunch of payload if they can still draw all of that. Um, that's pretty good. Like if they could get the sprawling, draw up all the green, discard it to opulent. They need another council room. Are they just not, they bottom deck their other council room or something? Or are they just trying to figure out how to manipulate this shuffle? I mean, they have like another bandit camp, a council room. 
if they bottom decked like Bandit Camp Council Room. Uh, yeah, I think they did. So, yeah, this is pretty awkward, right? Because now you have to add more engine pieces. Um, after you just greened. That was a bit unlucky for them, but not that unexpected. I mean, those are the right buys, I think. Uh, don't really wanna, oh, I got the ghost. It's still down there. Some something I'm not thinking of that could that the wisp might not draw maybe, but no, okay. Yeah, I just have a lot of wisps. Uh, oh I should have played I'm decreasing the chance of the wisps drawing by doing this. second ghost here I never got that other exorcist what am I gonna ghost I gotta be careful maybe I'll start getting some Provinces. I think I want to let them. Uh, keep the castle. Get a bandit camp. I guess I'm going to get a bandit camp and a council room. And a courtier and a province. Sprawling. And sprawling is like pretty good for them, so I'm denying them a card that they kind of want. At the expense of whatever. The duchy could be a ghost. Is it a duchess? Mm, I don't think so. I could potentially top deck a bunch of crappy things here. Uh, I think this is the order. Okay, so it's council room aside, so we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw them a lot of cards too. Do they still have the small? They do. So they'll probably get a big grand here. They'll probably get a big grand and King's Castle. We're gonna need to get a bunch of provinces. It's not that big of a grand. Oh, they're not playing the small. I mean, that does make the grand bigger. What did you top deck? Probably a bad card. 
You should still get another dungeon. Oh, they are playing the small. Okay, because they played the courtier non-terminal. Okay, so they're going to get a, a fair bit here. Of points. They could be in a good position, to be honest. Um, because I have to buy a lot of provinces, but then they could buy a lot of provinces still. So I'm drawing them a bunch of cards. If I could draw it all, I would have probably rather uh, hit bandit camp with my... Oh, they just get a bunch of provinces. Uh, okay. I feel like I could... Maybe I'm crazy. Can I get five provinces? Well, the plot twist is that five provinces isn't even enough points. <laughs> right? How much is this? 18 plus 4, 22 plus 15, 16 is only 38. <sighs> this is bad news for me. Uh, there's no way I'm playing this um, council room. The off chance that they have some kind of bad turn. So, what amount of cards can I get? I probably, I mean, if they get a bunch of provinces, then I'm just dead. So. get some duchesses then I'm probably gonna ghost one I'm getting at least one of those I guess I could just get the a bunch of duchies that makes it easier for them to pile on duchies this is just kind of lose-lose I can safely take one, no, two, 
to you know, three of those without making it, I mean, nothing is safe. Like if they draw, they'll just win. But, um, Uh, I don't know. Guess I don't have to play this. Exorcist. I think maybe I just won't play it. I guess it's courier side. We'll see. Could end up pretty bad. I mean, it's they're just going to win if they draw anyway. And they're pretty likely to draw. I think they can win. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I think like what triple province is probably winning for them. Right? I'll just let them do it. Uh, I was. Yeah, I tried too hard to have fun. Sorry, team. I played the first game I lost really poorly, and I had really bad luck in the Warrior one. This one I played poorly, too, I guess. I guess that's the story. I assume that they can even quad. Yeah. All right. Well, that was unpleasant. Thanks for watching.